Today we are beginning chapter 4. Uh, chapter 4 will be about triangles. Here's section 4.1, classifying triangles. This should be review for everybody. Uh, we're going to start out with classifying a triangle by the angles. So our first one would be an acute angle and or acute triangle I'm sorry that means every angle for example by 50 60 and 70 degrees those three would all make a triangle and it would be called an acute triangle next one is called equal angular meaning all the angles are equal. In an equal angular triangle, the angles are always 60 degrees. Three congruent acute angles. Then we have an obtuse triangle, and that has one obtuse angle. So for example, if this angle here was 120, then we would have maybe this one be 20 degrees and this one be 40 degrees. So that's an obtuse triangle, one obtuse angle, and a right triangle will have one right angle. Okay, so those are the four that we need to know. We need to classify them by their angles. Okay, so let's practice. Classify each triangle as acute, equal, angular, obtuse, or right. So if I look at this triangle here, each angle is less than 90. So I can call this an acute triangle. Moving over to this one, I have 50 and 40. Those are both acute, but I have a 90 which is, if I draw my square, a right angle. So we would call this a right triangle. Okay, let's try a couple more. If I look here, all the angles are the same. They are equal, so equal angular. And then if I come over here, I see 40 is acute, 45 is acute, 95 is greater than 90. It's an obtuse angle, so therefore it is an obtuse triangle. Okay, so those are the four that you need to know. Acute, equal angular, obtuse, or right. Okay, next we have classification of triangles by sides. We have three of these. So equal lateral, and I'm just going to highlight, we have three sides that are the same. I know you guys have studied this before. Equilateral. If we go to an isosceles triangle, it has at least two congruent sides. So we have isosceles. And last is scalene. Scalene triangle is none of the sides are congruent. All right, so um, equilateral, isosceles, or scalene. So let's, let's look at this here. Let's look at my three sides. I have 0.7 five. They are all the same. So I would say equilateral. Okay, now we're going to classify each triangle by its sides. What I'm going to do to help you see it better is I'm going to highlight each triangle so we can see it. First one is ABD. B, D. 
So if I outline that, I can see that all three sides are the same. So that would be an equal lateral. Next, I have ABC. Let's highlight ABC. ABC. Okay. What I'm going to notice is that none of the sides are equal. I have one tick mark here. I have two tick marks here. The other side really doesn't have anything. And so that will turn out to be scalene. Next, we will highlight EDC. Once again, we see two ticks, one tick, nothing on the EC side. And so that will also be a scalene. And then last but not least, we have BDC. So we're going to highlight that for you. BDC. We look at the sides and we see that these both have one, meaning they are the same. They are congruent. So that will be isosceles. Okay, uh, we're going to do one more here by its sides. So same thing. What I would maybe do is pause the video here and practice yourself. But I will again do these for you. So A, B, E. 9 and 8 root 2 are not the same. And then they have a congruent symbol. So none of the sides are the same. That's a scalene. Then we come over to E, D, B. What I'll notice is I have two sides that are congruent. So I'm going to call that isosceles. Let's go to E, B, C. What I'm going to notice here is that each side is something different. Once again, we have scalene. And last but not least, we have D, B, C. We can see that they all have one tick mark. So that will be an equal lateral. Okay. Now a couple algebra problems. This says find the length of each side of equilateral EDF. If it's equilateral, then I'm going to mark my triangle. We always mark our triangles. We're going to be dealing with triangles for a while. And I'm going to, they are all equal. All I need to do is pick two sides for the algebra and set them equal. So I'm going to do 2x plus 6 equals 5x minus 21. The first thing I'm going to do is add 21 to both sides. So I get 2x plus 27 equals 5x. And now I got to get all the x's over. Subtract 2x from both sides. And x equals 9. No matter how you solve this, you're always going to get x equals 9. And I just plug the 9 into, I'll just plug it in here, 2 times 9 plus 6, 18 plus 6 is 24. So they're all the same. The length of each side should be 24. Just to prove it to you, I'm going to set up this problem with different numbers. And let's see if we still get 9. 2x plus 6 will now equal 
7x minus 39. So I'm going to add 39, add 39. I'm going to get 2x plus 45 equals 7x. Now I got to get all the x's over, so subtract 2x. 45 equals 5x. Divide both sides by 5, and you'll get x equals 9 again. Plug it back in, and you will get 24. All right, let's do one more problem. We have to read this carefully, and we have to mark our triangle. It's isosceles, meaning two congruent sides, right? RS equals TS. So I'm going to mark RS and TS. And I'm going to find the length of each side. So I know that 9x plus 2 will equal 6x plus 8. We'll start out by subtracting 2. We'll get 9x equals 6x plus 6. I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. We'll get 3x equals 6. Divide both sides by 3x equals 2. That's not my final answer because I need to plug in 2 to all of these. So 6 times 2 plus 8, 12 plus 8 equals 20. So this side is 20, and because they're congruent, this side is 20. And now I plug in 2 here. 3 times 2 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 5.